my name is Eric Grossman. I'm the co-director of joint replacement in the Orthopedic and Spine Institute at Northern Westchester Hospital. My particular interest in orthopedics is joint replacement and specifically hip replacement. In regards to hip replacement, there are three major approaches to the hip. There's the anterior, lateral, and posterior approaches, which really all describe the position relative to the hip that we approach the deep hip from. I specifically perform and specialize in the anterior approach. Uh, however, I'm versed in all three. Pertaining to the approach, uh, specifically anterior versus the other approaches, um, being an anterior approach provides inherent stability to the hip. Uh, in regard to the anterior approach, another significant advantage that I see for my patients is not having to follow something called hip precautions. Uh, hip precautions are a set of physical restrictions put into place after posterior approach hip replacement uh, that restrict a patient's uh, leg positions. With an anterior approach, none of that is required, resulting in a less inhibited recovery and an easier recovery. To me, uh, anterior approach provides many um, uh, significant advantages, um, which is why I've chosen to perform this as my primary approach to the hip when possible. What I'm seeing in regards to my patients' recoveries with anterior approach is a, a quicker overall hospitalization and return to function. Uh, patients routinely go home day two um, and sometimes require physical therapy or home, inpatient therapy, but most often are able to go home. The fastest growing segment of the population currently undergoing hip replacement uh, is probably the 55 to 65 uh, age range, uh, where in the past people have been told live with your dysfunction till you can't live with it any further, uh, but today the implants are, are more durable, the surgery is more durable, and there's no sense in someone suffering and having various uh, worsening medical problems as a result, whether it be depression, weight gain, or generalized uh, pain problem. Hip replacements today, uh, I think it's safe to say, will last uh, 15 to 20 years. Uh, there have been some studies in the past that have shown uh, greater than 90 percent survivability at 20 years. Um, we're in the new range of newer implants, third generation uh, plastic or polyethylene. As a result, there's been uh, uh, certainly, I think, a more reliable and durable outcome in terms of its longevity. I chose to bring my practice here to Mount Kisco and specifically to Northern Westchester Hospital um, uh, really for obvious reasons to me. Uh, those reasons are their commitment to excellence, their commitment to the community and the physicians that decide to practice here, um, their, their commitment to cutting edge technology and staying current within the fields of medicine. Um, uh, and for the simple fact that the staff uh, from everyone from the technicians, ancillary to nursing and specialized physical therapy uh, across the board is top notch.